So, it has been a while, but here we are. My Hero Academia Vigilantes manga chapter 107 has officially released, and boy oh boy, do we have a lot to talk about in this chapter. So, let's get right into it right after this intro. <laughs> Hey guys, how's it going? It is your boy Manga Man Drew here to talk to you about My Hero Academia Vigilantes Manga Chapter 107 review. And yes, we are back. It has been almost three weeks, multiple breaks, but we are back and Vigilantes comes back with a vengeance. Literally, because we are once again focusing on the fight between Koichi the Crawler versus number six. And from what we see in this chapter, yeah, for the next few chapters, we are going to solely focus on this fight and it's going to pick up action real quickly. I expect the next few chapters, including this one, to be nothing but action. And from what we see, it is. So before we get more into the actual review, I'd like to ask you, if you haven't done so, to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you'd like for me to do more reviews of My Hero Academia content. I do reviews of Vigilantes, the actual My Hero Academia uh, canon series, as well as cover spoilers and discussions. So if that's something that you're interested in, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And without the way, let's get right into the review. So when it comes to this chapter, like I said, there is a strong focus on action. We get to see a lot of fighting between Koichi and number six. And by fighting, I mean number six throwing a whole lot of punches and Koichi dodging them. Where in this chapter, we also get an explanation for how Koichi was able to keep up with number six when it comes to his uh, specific reflexes with overclock, which you know, allows him to think and act faster than a normal person. We get an explanation for that as well as we get a new form for number six. And before we get more into, into that, let's start off with the beginning of this chapter. So let's start off with the first part of this chapter where we just get the first few pages of number six doing what number six does, blowing up his hand by punching a car and causing that car to explode as we get My Hero Academia Vigilantes episode 107, The Days to Come, where you have number six who's just so irritated by the fact that he is unable to get like a real hit out on Koichi with his explosions because Koichi is always dodging. So he's asking Koichi, he's like, how are you able to do this? What is your secret? Why is this all happening? As Koichi has no idea what's going on, where we have the uh, consciousness of O'Clock telling number six that oh he doesn't know what he's doing so everything that has been doing going on has been subconscious which number six doesn't believe so he begins to go on a different strategy he goes on a more of upfront attacking approach just delivering multiple punches at a time multiple barrages of punches just rushing into him as you have like this vestige of o'clock that is inside of his mind telling him that Oh, so you're going over a uh, quantity over quality. Uh, yeah, that's not going to work because when it comes to O'Clock, yeah, it works best because it allows you to accelerate your thinking process so that you're able to find the precise moments to attack and that fighting someone like Koichi is where it's not going to be effective and how if you're going to use brute force, it's not going to work on someone if you don't have that overwhelming strength like All Might to do it. Where you have number six responding to that is like, well, yeah, but the difference is between you and me, yeah, I have a body that can handle this quirk a whole lot better, which he does. His body has been modified to the point where he's able to move faster, where he's able to deliver more destructive power, more destructive punches, and has a recovery factor. So he believes, when it comes to number six, that he can do this brute force attack while using overclock, and it's because he's not the same as O'Clock because his body is literally built differently. And as we see, he's really hammering in on Koichi. Koichi is trying to dodge the punches, intercept them with his hands, deflecting the blast, but it becomes too much for him. And as number six is about to lay a blow on Koichi, we see the ring automatically appear before number six is even able to attack Koichi. And even when he's going high gear and accelerates his punching, as we see, he begins to overwhelm Koichi and gets a really good gut shot on him. But as soon as he's about to use that explosion to blow off Koichi's head, Koichi reacts and fires off a blast that cuts or shoots right past number six, throwing him back, making him go back on the defensive. And even when all of this is happening, number six is question like, how is he able to do that? Like, I am in this accelerated straight. My overclock is unmatched. How is he able to keep up? As we have O'Clock come to the conclusion that he came to prior is that 
Koichi is doing all of this unconsciously and he gives this sort of diatribe about how when it comes to people how there are certain things that we do uh, unconsciously like gracefully falling dodging and when it comes to a uh, verbal like mishaps that there are things that we cannot perceive that happens subconsciously and when it comes to Koichi's quirk yeah his quirk reacts unconsciously and that it will move faster than number six's processing speed even with overclock and o'clock that's inside number six come to this conclusion and says that yeah uh this is someone that you should never mess with and he's on the same level of all might because he's a direct counter against you and then this vestige of o'clock even goes on more to say that oh if he were to perfect his quirk because he's able to move at high speeds he has great defenses and great offenses that he's going to be a really great counter to you because he also has subconscious reflexes that if he hones his skill he is going to be the perfect counter to you so the best thing for you to do is to never fight him ever again and retreat and number six isn't having that because we also get a visualization of Koichi literally towering over number six being the perfect counter to him where you have number six is like, no, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to, you, you say that uh, it's going to be another day to come. No, that can't happen. I have to do this now. I am going to kill him as he destroys his face as we get to see that his body is beginning to transform as he talked about how his number one priority right now is going to be the crawler. So at the very least, Koichi, you did it. You saved Pop Step. He's not gonna go after Pop Step. In the contract, he's going to go after you and he's going to go hard because we see that he's morphing. Koichi even notices that he's morphing as we get to the final parts of this chapter where we just have number six in this monstrous form he has multiple eyes as he says operation anonymous phase six as yeah he looks like a bona fide monster at the end of this chapter and let me just say this koichi you are fudged uh there's possibly going to be a way that koichi is going to get out of this but from what we see at the end of this chapter uh, number six is a literal monster. Also, the fact that it ends on phase six shows that most likely this is going to come to an end very soon. So what I'm hoping going on next chapter is that we're going to get to see more Koichi and number six fighting. Number six is going to do some new things in this monster form. He may actually be able to overwhelm a Koichi at this point because Koichi still isn't really fighting seriously. He's still preoccupied with running away. And I think that right at the moment that number six thinks that he has the kill on Koichi where he's about to kill koichi uh we're going to get a cameo from a particular individual that just knocks him back and i think that if not next chapter within the next few chapters we're going to get the reveal of knuckle duster because i do not think that koichi is powerful enough to stop number six right now even in this chapter uh we have the vestige of o'clock saying that yeah if this dude uh in the future gets more perfecting his quirk yeah he's going to be a perfect counter to you so i think that koichi won't win this fight on his own that he can't win this fight on his own that all he can do is continuously run away to postpone the inevitability of number six being defeated but i think that someone else specifically knuckle duster is going to come in to help koichi and them working together is going to lead to number six's downfall potential death and the wrap-up of this series so yeah uh that's all i really have to say about this chapter it was just a lot of action it was really fun it's been a while since i've had this much enjoyment with a vigilantes chapter really enjoyed it just everything in this chapter was explanation of how koichi works and just seeing a whole lot of action between koichi and number six seeing number six just throw hands with koichi koichi being able to react and consciously to dodge it uh if this was ever to be animated that would be an amazing fight so yeah that's all i really have to say about this hopefully you enjoyed this video and if you did leave a like on this video and leave a comment down below on what you thought of this chapter uh as well as subscribe to my youtube channel and hit that notification bell to be notified for whenever i upload more content like this so yes do all that cool jazz and hopefully i'll be able to catch you in my next video goodbye <laughs>